Comma dot dot comma dot. Sage versus Sage. Naruto walked forward and put his flower near Gekko's face and prayed for his soul to be at peace and turned to walk away only to see a purple-haired girl standing behind him. Who? She I let my guard down. Naruto thought, but to sneak up on me she's good. You're here to pray to Hayate. She said wondering who the person in the hood was and why he was here praying for her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Hayate's death had hit her very hard he was with her since they were kids. Hayate had always had a weak body and was suffering from an incurable illness since birth though they did not know about this till much later. Hayate had taken care of her, trained with her, and helped her through when her sensei Kashina had passed away. He was always concerned about her health and always said that they would take the next step when he's cured but a few years ago. Hayate went to the best doctor in all of fire country at the moment and found out that the illness he was suffering from was incurable and had a chance that it may be passed down to his children Hayate took a few weeks off and searched of Tsunade with the help of the toad Sanin and got the exact same answer, this was the day Hayate had almost broke up from her but she managed to convince him against it, after all he was all she had all her life and now she was all alone destined to die alone. She knows Gekko Senpei. No I can't reveal myself until I talk to the old man, he thought as he ignored her and walked towards the exit which confused her. Why is he not answering, and that hood he's suspicious, wait who are you and what are you doing here, talk or I'll have to use force, the girl said. Naruto not in the mood to fight just whined walked out of there shocking the girl, he's fast damn it I'll have to report to the Hokage, as she started to walk off but paused and looked towards the picture of Gekko. I'll visit you later Gekko, she thought as she shot off. With the Hokage in the Hokage's office. The Hokage was finishing the last of his paperwork as he was in a hurry and had told the secretary to only bring paperworks that were urgent which was still a huge bundle as the invasion had caused a huge amount of damage to the village and there was something bothering him, Danzo was found dead inside of his house, which three people found very suspicious. The first one was Homura Mitokado, Second was Kaharu Yudatane these two were the remaining elders of the leaf and the last was the Hokage himself these three were very suspicious as none of the three believed Danzo had grown so weak to lose to some weak chunins from Odo in addition the old man knew about the root Anbu that he was still running secretly but sadly he had no proof of. The problem with Danzo's death was that three of them agreed that something was up but the council from either did not as they did not believe that Danzo was that strong anymore so they were unable to do a better investigation. He broke himself out of his thoughts when Cat Anbu appeared in front of him. Cat I thought you were on leave is something wrong? The old man asked he had given Cat a leave so that she could get over Gecko's death and was a little shocked to see her in full combat suit in front of him. Hokage-sama I found a suspicious character by the funeral a few minutes ago, I thought he was just a person there to give his respects to someone but when I confronted him he ran away at unbelievable speeds, reported Kat. Must have been Naruto, I really need to talk to him, though the old man before saying, Yugao it's fine he's just not a social kind of person but you should really be at home I know how hard it must have been for you, the old man said. I'm sorry Hokage-sama but my house reminds me of him and I wanted to be occupied for now, she said. Running from your problems is never the option Yugao, unless you face it you can never move on, the old man advised. Yugao seemed to be about to say something when they heard knocking and voices on the other side of the door. Come in, the old man said as he saw Naruto walking in, am I late? He asked. No you're just on time, Yugao. A cat please go get Jiraiya for me tell him it's time for the meeting. The old man said as cat nodded and she left. Sit down for a bit we'll start after Jiraiya gets here, the old man said. Do we really need him old man, you know how much I dislike him, Naruto asked. I do, but he has the right to know Naruto now if you will, he said as Naruto sat down. The old man got back to finishing the last of his paperwork so that he was free after and Naruto was trying to sense Jiraiya in the approaching, which he seems to be doing at a very quick speed well it was a very important meeting after all. I'm here, Jiraiya as jumped in from the window. Good Anbu please leave us alone for a bit, said the old man quickly activating a privacy seal. 
Now Naruto mind telling us how you got this strong and who those two people are, the old man said. Okay I'll tell you about the story but not about my companions you'll just have to trust me. Trust. Did you trust us enough to tell us any of this? Jiraiya said a little mad. Where were you when it happened? No you were too busy avoiding me so don't talk about telling you anything I don't even want you here, said Naruto angry at Jiraiya. That enough you too. Naruto tell us the story and we'll decide if we can trust you, said the old man. Fine, he said before telling them all about what happened when he was six and how he met Senshi and the way he started to get strong of course he may have omitted some points like that he was Yari, that he sealed Sasuke's Sharingan and that he has created a personal cursed seal. So you mean you've achieved sage mode, that insane you have to train for years to achieve sage mode, said Jiraiya not believing Naruto. Really then how about a challenge, you and me in the Chunin arena at noon tomorrow, no one holds back if I win I become the Nadime Snake Sanin of Kohona and if I lose I'll forgive you and you'll have every right of a godfather, Naruto said confidently. Pfft kid you may have gotten Orochimaru's jutsus but there is no way you can beat me, the pervert said mocking him. I've beaten one of the Sanin let's see if I can add one more shall we? Naruto said again. In this whole time the old man Hokage was quiet one side this challenge could allow him to judge Naruto's true powers as Orochimaru might have been a Sanin but during the invasion he was only half as strong as he had lost his snakes but on the other hand how would the people react to Naruto being this strong so suddenly there's bound to be questions to come if this continues but this was a very good opportunity to show all the nations that the leaf was still strong. Find Naruto tomorrow at 1200 hours at the Chunin exam stadium it will be a grand match all the daimyos are still here we'll announce a match to celebrate our victory between the Toad Sanin of Kohona and the new Snake Sanin of Kohona. But know this your title will only be official if you beat Jiraiya, said the Hokage making the other two smile. This is going to be fun, thought the two. Great old man. But if I do become the new snake Sanin I'll be taking my father and mother's name and inheritance okay, said Naruto making Jiraiya and the old man's eyes widen, when did you? They asked. When I was eight I saw the Yondaimi's picture and wondered why we have such similar body structure and facial similarities and then it hit me that he was my father and I found about my mother when I was seven I heard some Anbu taking about the sword legend Kashina Uzumaki that was as good as any of the second generation seven swordsmen of the mist or maybe even better, said Naruto. Sign I guess you were too smart for us to hide it from you, said the tired old man, but yes you will, he said making Naruto nod and walk away. Later that day, the word of the battle spread like fire throughout the whole fire country of the new snake Sanin many asked Anko if she was the challenger but received a no for the answer. Anko herself had asked the snakes and the Hokage for who the person was but received secret as an answer. Many people were chatting about this as well as the four Jonans Kakashi, Kurinai, Asuma and Gai where few of the people that had asked Anko and Hokage as well but was let down now. The five of them including Anko was found in a ninja's only bar run by a retired Jonan. So any news about who this guy is Asuma, asked Kurinai. Hum not really I asked dad but he wouldn't budge, though he really looked like he was looking forward to it, he said. Which means he expects a very good fight, a nice move though to show that we are still strong I heard the daimyos that were about to leave are staying for the match as well, though they're making sure this time their safety was more secure said Kakashi. Yash I can't wait for this youthful match, Guy added. Hum Guy did the doctors say anything about Lee, asked Kurinai. Dot not yet but don't worry Lee will make it through he has the power of youth by his side, said Guy after his moment of silence. Hey Yugao come sit, Anko shouted when she saw Yugao walking into the bar. Hey Anko what are you guys doing here at this hour, she asked walking towards them. We're talking about the match tomorrow, she said point her at an empty chair. Yeah well I think I saw him today, she told shock the others. What we're been trying to find out who he is for a good part of the whole day you have to tell us come on, said Anko. Well I didn't see his face he was wearing a black hood and he is definitely faster than most of us I don't know about guy, she said making Anko smile, great this is going to be fun, come on Yugao join us for a drink she said.
Well I was hoping to drink a. Eh? She started but stopped when she saw Anko's angry expression. You need to move on come on let's have some fun you know he'd want that for you too. She said making Yugao give a sad smile before nodding. At the arena the next day. The arena was filled with civilians and spies from many different countries and the daimyos who were very shocked by this event so close after the invasion it was like they weren't even affected. There was a lot of take about who would win in the arena was it the Toad Sanin who seemed to be 50 or a boy in his teens by his height he seemed to be about 16 years old but they were unable to tell due to the hood, most people present was planning to bet on Jiraiya to be safe. Ladies and gentlemen I welcome you to this celebration event I've kept to compensate for your troubles at the Chunin exams and also to introduce a new Sanin into our ranks now I would like to present Jiraiya the Toad Sanin and Sage of the Mount Myoboku and next new Snake Sanin he started his journey by just stumbling onto one of Orochimaru's bases and he has Aki, killer of Orochimaru and Sage of the Ryachi Cave, said the old man causing the crow to start taking about the match. Kohona has another sage. This is bad, was the collective though of the spies. A sage man so not only did he took out Orochimaru he's a sage as well this match is getting better even before beginning, said Anko. Yeah but the Hokage did not mention his name, kind of makes me wonder who it is, said Kakashi getting a nod from the others. A sage. HMPF there's no way that a sage could be as strong as a true Uchiha, thought Sasuke. Yes a sage, there's an old saying. Only an Uchiha can beat an Uchiha, only a Senju could beat a Senju and only a sage can defeat a sage and in a battle between them there is no one that can tell who may win, said the Hokage making the crowd even more exited. What, that much power if I had it all still have a chance to defeat Itachi, thought Sasuke. Contestants ready, begin, said Genma who was the proctor again. I should get to a safe distance these guys are war machines, thought Genma. Wind release. Vacuum sphere, Naruto said as he exhaled spheres of wind at Jiraiya who jumped out of the way. Wind looks like you're at a disadvantage fire release. Great fireball jutsu, he said sending a fireball twice the size of Sasuke's. Wind release. Slash, Naruto said sending a wave of wind that went through the fireball like butter making Jiraiya jump again. Elemental advantage is meaningless at this level don't you think, Naruto said with a smirk. Chai underestimated him. Earth release. Mud dragon jutsu, he said sending a huge mud dragon towards Naruto. Earth release. Earth snakes valley, they are different from earth snakes. These are simple attacking type, Naruto said as he stomped his foot as 20 snakes made of stone came out of the ground and attacked the dragon and Jiraiya who was shocked by the jutsu. Should I have to do something? He thought before he said earth release. Protective earth dome x3, making a three-layered earth dome around him just in time to avoid the to be saved from the snakes. When the jutsu had ended the three-layered dome had only one layer left. One more and I would have got hit two elements and he's proficient in both of them. Jiraiya thought. Take this fire release. Flame bullets, he said as he freed multiple bullets at Naruto. Fire release. Fire dragon flame bullet. Naruto said shooting out a huge stream of fire that took out Jiraiya's bullets easily and headed towards Jiraiya who was forced to use earth release. Earth wall to save himself. Three you have to be kidding me. Not only that he's been using high-level jutsus all this time and he's not even winded. You're good at ninjutsu Naruto but are you good at taijutsu? He thought. Naruto let's switch to taijutsu shall we the audience must be getting bored from all the ninjutsu. S. He said receiving a nod from Naruto before he said. Yeah I really don't fight with taijutsu a lot but I can't always use chakra techniques can I? Good. Jiraiya said before he rushed towards Naruto at high jonin speed trying to test him first though since Naruto spent a lot of time of the learning and gaining experience he was quite familiar with what Jiraiya was trying to do so he played along using Tai at half as he unsealed the four limbs waiting seal. As I thought you aren't that good at taijutsu high jonin at best. Jiraiya said jumping back only to hear Naruto laughing. You really are cocky four limbs waiting seal release said Naruto shocking Jiraiya. Waiting seals shit I've got to stop underestimating him. He thought as he suddenly saw Naruto appear in front of him in a flash of speed. Hazardous whirlpool, 
as he delivered a series of fast and deadly punches at Jiraiya who dodged most but got hit by a few of the hits pushing him back. That's a surprise, how do you block so many attacks? Asked a little shocked. You forget you're not the only person I met that uses that style, heck that was the most used against me. When I tried to peep while Kashina was at the hot springs, but there's no way I'm telling him that, he thought. So this is going to be harder than I thought. Not only does he know about the snake style it seems he knows about the whirlpool taijutsu as well. This is going to be more fun than I thought. Good for you, he said before using wind walk, when he uses this jutsu just imagine Nightcrawler's teleportation in the X-Men movie, to appear behind Jiraiya, fist of the great white snake, he said sending Jiraiya flying. What in the world was that? Was the collective thought of most of the people present in the arena including Jiraiya. In the audience. Kakashi and friends. What was that? Asked a shocked Kurenai. Whatever it was it was it's quite advanced that speed is faster than guy in the fourth gate released form. Said Kakashi who had his Sharingan activated but was unable to copy or see the person's chakra flow or anything about him he was lucky the other I was able to catch it. What is going on here? Could it be that this guy found a way to evade being copied by the Sharingan? But that would need a lot of knowledge on the Sharingan. Could he have found info on it in the base? Then there's a possibility that he could help Sasuke, he just wants to see his students reach their full potential. Hum who do you think would be faster me or him? Guy said seriously. Guy you're not serious, Asuma said. He's a sage all your speed would be useless, he advised which was heard by Sasuke. Sensei I want to be a sage, Sasuke said. Good for you Sasuke, said Kakashi he knew that was not a dream but an order. I want your help, he said getting irritated. Well sorry Sasuke I'm not a sage and you can't force anyone to teach you anything, he said. Of course I can I'm an Uchiha, Sasuke said puffing his chest out. Sasuke Uchiha I will not be teaching you anything till you learn to keep your pride in check. And what have you done that you are so proud of? Huh, I don't remember you doing anything worth mentioning, Kakashi said, getting pissed, making the other Jonans look up from the match. What Uchihas were? Sasuke started, but Kakashi interrupted. Not the Uchiha, Sasuke, you what have you done? I'm an Uchiha in any. He started again, but Kakashi interrupts. To be an Uchiha, one needs to achieve two things Sasuke, one fire release, fireball into the Sharingan, so you are not an Uchiha yet. I'll ask you again what have you done to be this prideful, Kakashi said making Sasuke actually think about it for the first time, right now Sasuke you are the brat that will sooner or later get himself killed due to being simple minded and arrogant just what Itachi wanted you to be, he said making Sasuke's head go blank was he really overestimating himself for being an Uchiha, no he was not even an Uchiha yet. But then who was he what had he done to deserve to live with his head up, nothing. Itachi is this really what you meant I'm useless you knew about how I would react and made my life into your personal entertainment zone, not anymore I will prove you wrong I won't be useless I will do what no Uchiha has done before. I will be Hokage, he thought. Sorry sensei I was wrong I will correct my mistakes I'm not an Uchiha yet but even if I never am able to become one I'll do some good I'll make friends I'll have allies and he will be alone, be the one to pity his life. Sasuke said as he walked of go have a seat. Well I guess that solves the arrogance, Kakashi said shocked that it was so easy. In the arena, that's quite a jutsu whose is it? Jiraiya asked but he had an idea about it as he had never heard the name before. Mine, Naruto said as he disappeared and appeared midair kicking him to the left side sending him flying before going. Poof, revealing to be a shadow clone shocking Naruto. When did he? he thought as he sensed him a few feet away hiding underground. Too late, Jiraiya said, earth release, twin earth pillars, as two pillars came out of the ground and hit Naruto sending him flying. As soon as Naruto fell back to the ground he stood back up not wanting to give him any more advantages. He got back up that fast, he's got great pain tolerance, thought the village shinobi council, elders, the old man and the toad sani. Now that the council has been mentioned they were not really okay for the challenge there were too many things that the old man told was a secret, 
They tried the best they could but with Danzo the political mastermind dead the civilian council's powers were rapidly falling. The elders and the shinobi council was not really against the challenge but the secrecy of the challenger the only answer they got was that their questions will be answered after the challenge, but coming here and seeing the skills of this man they were quite impressed except Shikaku who was sleeping of course. That hurt like hell you old pervert, Naruto said as he unsealed his blades Samahata and Kusanagi. Come now I thought you were trying to become a Sanin, but I must say those swords are quite something. I didn't know you were able to get your hands on the Kusanagi, said Jiraiya. Oh there are so many surprises I have in store for you my dear godfather, he said so sweetly that Jiraiya felt chills run down his spine. Damn the brat can be intimidating when he wants to be, can't let my guard down with him. Earth release, twin blades of the earth, Jiraiya said summoning two original Samahata shaped swords from the ground, shall we? Gladly. Naruto said as he ran towards Jiraiya, Whirlpool Sword, Ninth Stance Twin Flare, he said as both the blades started to burn as he strikes Jiraiya downward only to have Jiraiya put both his blades in front of him defensively, that's some blades to think it withstood my swords, said Naruto. That's not all they can do, Jiraiya said with a smirk as Chakra started steaming out of the small holes in the blades and he threw Naruto away easily. Wow you a man of many skills but Kenjutsu is mine, he said shifting into a stance which mostly consisted putting one leg ahead bending a bit and putting both over the opposite shoulder holding them in an X position and started to put wind chakra into each of the blades. Hum seems like you want to finish this quickly well that can be arranged, Jiraiya said as he put the swords down and it touched the ground and started to put chakra through the sword and into the ground slowly cowering the ground around him and below in his chakra so that he could use this technique. Ready when you are Naruto, Jiraiya said. Me too. Let's begin in 3, 2, 1, now. Naruto said but did not move on the other hand Jiraiya had. Survive this earth blade. Earth blade's graveyard as he took his hands of the blades to show that it was glued to the ground and went through some hand signs, earth release, earth wall, he said as a wall of earth came up just when it stopped blades made of earth of all shape and sizes started shoot everywhere. Nice but mine's much better whirlpool wind, final X, said Naruto with a smirk and launched his attack sending an almost invisible wind that sliced through the earth blades like butter. On the other side of the wall, Jiraiya was not well he had launched an attack that could have killed Naruto and in return he just watched but that was before he heard those words that attack's name made his blood run cold. Flashback. Hem Kashina what are you doing here shouldn't you be getting ready you know it's your special day right or are you having second thoughts, said the Sanin you received a punch to the face as a result. There no way I'll miss today for the world, get me you pervert, Kashina said. That's much better. Now what's got you so down, he asked. Well I'm kind of missing, dad, she said quietly, I never knew my mother just my father and me he had a lot of dreams about my marriage, he would save money for it since I was a toddler and now, that I'm getting married, she said before she started crying into Jiraiya's shoulder, it's okay Kashina I'm sure he'll be happy to see you with Minato, he tried to comfort her. You're right, Minato would have the test anyway, said Kashina. Hum what test? He asked. Well my father said anyone who wants to marry me would have to go through his strongest jutsu the whirlpool wind. Final X and believe me I've seen it slicing through mountains like butter, she said smiling a little. Then it's a good thing he didn't or your father would serve him with bread in the morning, he joked as they started laughing. End flashback. This is bad I don't want to be butter, he thought. No choice, as he quickly summoned Ma and Pa. I need sage mode hurry, he said as they jumped up to their summoner's shoulder and started to gather sage mode as fast as they could they were a little confused this really seemed like an emergency. That was when they saw the earth wall being sliced through and hitting Jiraiya just enough to pierce the flesh creating an X mark on his chest, if we had raised just a little less that would had been serious thought the two small elders. Jiraiya what's going on? asked Pa. I'm fighting my godson, he said. Wait Minato's boy, what's going on? Said Pa, we are in the middle of a challenge that I have to win, no matter what, he said. What do mean you have to, Ma asked. 
I'll explain it to you too later, he said as the he fully entered sage mode. Well for you to enter the sage mode I must be good, Naruto said as he revealed also to be in the sage mode. With the councils and Hokage. They've entered the sage mode, said the old man. With the use of those levels he's already at Sanin level low to mid most likely, said Hiyashi Hayuga. Not really he's yet to use any sage techniques and I get the feeling Jiraiya was holding back but the other one has been too, said Shikaku Nara who couldn't sleep due to all the noise. I have to agree thought this is an important match they are holding back that sword attack could had been faster and stronger, he held back a lot and that's without the timing he was waiting till he had a defense, Shibi Abarame analyzed getting nods from Inoichi Yamanaka and Choza Akamichi. But this battle really is something with the amount of spies we led in the other nations wouldn't dare attack, said Sum in Azuka. That's okay but I hope you don't forget about the answers you said we'd receive Hokage-sama, said Kaharu. Hokage-sama we would like to propose him being put on the CRA, said a merchant. No, the old man said very seriously. Why here isn't that kind of power if he teaches his children the sage mode we'll have a strong clan said Kaharu. He said he'd leave the village at the first sign of CRA and I agreed we needed him at this time not the children, he said as he received nods from the elders, Shinobi Council and reluctantly the civilian council they were having a very hard time with all the invasion the villagers were losing their trust in them and almost came to a re-election of the. With the contestants, am you really going to do this a battle of sages, Jiraiya said as he looked at the destruction that was done to the stadium. Of course I am, we do have an audience to please, said Naruto. Fine you asked for it, the pervert said as he dashed towards Naruto getting into a taijutsu battle once more with both of them having few hits on each other every now and then. But the ground around them was being destroyed by every blow if the hit connected or not. Wah, wait a minute wait, Jiraiya said backing up a bit making Naruto a little confused but not letting his guard down. What's going on why does his punch hurt so much, asked Jiraiya. He's mastered the sage mode Jiraiya you haven't there is bound to be a difference, said Ma. Shit. So I'm at a heavy disadvantage. Well yes and no, said Pa before continuing. You see he'll run out of nature chakra soon you won't but as you said he has a stronger abilities, making Jiraiya smirk. Hum that's good and all, but you do know I'm right here right, Naruto said as he sent Jiraiya flying. Gok. Damn brat that hurts, said the pervert but you're losing power I can feel it. Shitty's right damn it what do I do I don't have anything effective to use against a snake and I can't use the cursed seal, no choice the seals will have to do, Naruto thought as he used up the last of his sage mode. Perfect now you're mine, Jiraiya said standing back up, I'm going to toy with you a bit, and then I'll finish it with style. Yeah about that. No gravity by four inches Naruto said as suddenly Jiraiya fell to the floor on one foot, what? What in the world was that it's noticeably harder to move what did he do? I'm sure I'd know if there's a seal on me. Confused here let me show you gravity x6 gravity by two inches he said as the whole stadium felt themselves getting heavier and Jiraiya was on both his knees. The stadium. You put seals on the stadium. Shouted Jiraiya. No I didn't. I don't have to but by the looks on your face I don't think my mother did this did she, he said. As this a Uzumaki skill? Yes, I heard she was able to make chains so I just thought she would be able to make seals as well, he said. Seals your mother was a master, Jiraiya said. Yes but you know the Uzumaki main house had a bloodline a very strong one at that chakra materialization most of them made chains like my mother but few like my great grandfather was able to materialize more than chains, said Naruto confusing Jiraiya and the audience. Still don't get it fine look up, he said as everyone looked up and saw seals one small covering the area Jiraiya was in and a huge one covering the whole stadium. With the Jonans, that's impossible such power over the seals said Kakashi, he's better than Sensei. Sensei had a child, thought Yugao. With the spies. This is bad with this power he could be SS class. Was the spies thought as they started to shit themselves. With the councils. Hokage-sama she had a child. Kaharu said. Yes, said the shocked Hokage. 
He needs to be in CRA, shouted Homura. We can't he made me sign a document that made sure of it, the old man said. Damn it such power, we can't let it die with him, said Homura. With Mei, Raiga, Rinmara, Yagura and Fu. Amazing, said Rinmara. Indeed number wonder Yagura-san didn't stand a chance, said Mei. You really need to move on you know, said Yagura. Says the guy that couldn't stop himself from being controlled. He was strong enough to control the Sanbi I'm a person, he said. I know it's just hard okay, she said looking away there were only few that knew that Yagura was still alive Mei, Raiga, Rinmara and Pakura but none of them were able to forgive them as of yet. Back with Naruto and the others. I give, said Jiraiya. Great gravity by 10 inches he said send Jiraiya totally to the ground, that's for stealing my fun. Winner, Genma said as he came off from the audience benches but was interrupted by the Hokage. Winner Namikaze Uzumaki Naruto son of Kashina Uzumaki Namikaze and Minato Namikaze the fourth Hokage, he announced shocking every leaf shinobi in the arena. Naruto seeing his full name being called lowered his hood and took of his mask reveling to be who he said he was. Good job kid, and good luck being a sanin, said Jiraiya. With Kakashi. I, it can, can't be, Naruto is, senseis, Kakashi thought before his brain went on about the similarities and everything, how did I miss that they're almost copies, and I neglected to teach him anything, he thought. With Yugao. Sensei's son survived I thought he died, don't worry Sensei I'll make sure he's safe with my life, thought Yugao remembering the Kashina the only mother-like person that she had in her life. With the councils. What are you talking about that's the de. Dead last, said a civilian. That was all an act, said the old man. Did you help him? Asked Kaharu. No, he helped me in the invasion, said the old man. So he hid everything he should be punished, a civilian. For what for helping us? The old man said. Quote comma dot quote. As I thought now if you're done I have some people to promote, said the old man as he shunshin to the ground. With the spies. The fourth had a son. They mumbled they were not having a good day. With Kohona 12 including clone Naruto. How's that possible you're right here? Shouted Sakura. I'm a blood clone. The clone said. So how long since you switched? Asked Sasuke shocked. Strange I thought you'd be angry but before the graduation, he said. With the contestants. Nice battle Naruto but did you forget to tell us everything, the old man said. Nope but there is no way I'll just had over all my secrets right, Naruto said. Fine, I hereby promote you to a sanin with all the right after two months probation of course, he said. I can live with that, I guess, Naruto. Good because you'll have an Anbu watching over you, said the old man. I'm not a kid you know, he murmured. Okay Chunin exam finals contestants please come forward, he said as Sasuke, Choji and Neji came forward. Good you all have shown excellent skills and for that I promote all three of you to Chunin good work and one more though more his exceptional brains in the preliminaries Shikamaru I promote you to a Chunin, said the old man. What a drag, said Shikamaru before he was punched by the Yamanaka Ino for not knowing how lucky he was. In the meeting room, so when do I get the inheritance, asked Naruto. Naruto you'll receive your father's and mother's full inheritance today and also the rent from the lands that had been held up due to their not being a heads until now, said the old man. Hokage-sama you can't be serious that's 12 years of rent I'll go bankrupt said a merchant he was in the possession of vast wealth due to the business of the lands of Uzumaki. It clearly states in the agreement that in an event of the owner's death the rent money should be saved up for 20 years time and if in that time no relative shows up the land becomes theirs but it's only been 12 hasn't it, said the Hokage. How were we supposed to know, said the merchant. You weren't you were supposed to follow the contract. It's your fault Naruto will have the right to seize the land and your business unless you pay 12 years rent in one month, which is 21,600,000 Rio, said the old man. But we don't know if, started the merchant but the Hokage stopped him. I have blood samples, marriage form, birth certificate you name it. It all proves that he's their son, said the old man. 
So what kind of lands do I own? Naruto asked curious of what his parents left for him. Okay you have a bank account of total 2 billion 310 million Rio you are 30% owner of Ichiraku Ramen and the land, Summer Leaf Orphanage, owner of Trans Leaf Resort and the land, and landlord of Grand Leaf Restaurant, Red Leaf Bar and 30% of the market area from your mother's side. And from my father. Fuin Lessons Books. Royalty of 12,000 a month. An account total of 1 billion Rio 20% owner of Ichiraku Ramen and 10% of the market area and owner of Daylight Family Home and Orphanage. That quite a lot. Naruto said calmly. Yeah they spent a lot of money buying thing especially your father. He wanted to buy lands so that you could do anything you wanted whether civilian or ninja. The old man said reminiscing old times. Well now that that's done we want Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze to sign a few agreements, said Kaharu. What kind of agreements? The old man asked. You stay out of this Hiruzen we want him to sign up for the CRA, not only is he the son of the Hokage he's also the last of the Uzumaki, said Homura. You really think he'll sign that, said Naruto. It's either this or breeding program, said Kaharu with a smirk. How about neither if you didn't hear I'm a sonin I do not take orders from you in the papers the Hokage sign says he cannot make me do that either, said Naruto. Quote comma quote. Good if there isn't anything else this meeting is adjourned, the old man said as they left leaving a defeated Homura and Kaharu. To think that Donzo's death and suddenly the old fool seems to grow some backbone, said Kaharu. Whatever the reason Donzo's death has cost us a lot of the power we used to have said Homura. We need to get more power or Hiruzen will destroy Kohona, said Kaharu receiving a nod from Homura. In the office, is there something you want Naruto? Yes I want to tell you some things but first could you, Naruto said and Hiruzen nodded sending the Anbus away and activating the privacy seal. Now what's wrong? The old man asked. I am Yari Uzumaki, he said shocking the old man. What how did you become Yari? Well Yari is the alias I used to roam out in Uzu and I caught the eye of Iwa and while searching for bounties I found Gato and you know the rest, he said. So you're the Kiri's hero, said the old man. Yes I've already talked about an alliance with them, said Naruto. Quote comma dot. Why take over Gato Corps? I needed a lot of money for the lands I'm buying and I needed a transportation source for my seals, he said. You're the seal seller. The old pervert asked and Naruto nodded. Why buy so much land in the nations why not set your business here, said the old man. Because it's just a cover for my real plan, said Naruto. And what might that be, he asked. I want to restart the root program, Naruto said shocking the Hokage. Naruto I can't allow that, stealing the people's emotions and turning them into weapons is something I can't allow, said the aged cage. Then we'll make it without that step, said Naruto. I won't steal their emotions, turn them into weapons or anything that is against the Kohona law, and you'll be informed about it all the time, said Naruto. Hum, fine but the first sign of something wrong and I'm shutting it down, said the cage. Good now the flares can burn brightly. Hum, the cage asked. Well I'm not naming them root I'm naming them flare, flares from the will of fire said Naruto for which the old fart smiled. I'll prepare the papers, he said. And I'll check out the quality of the orphanages I own. Oh not yet here sign these, it's the papers to your inheritance, he said. Okay thanks old man, Naruto said as he signed and sped off. Summer Leaf Orphanage. This is it huh, excuse me kid mind telling me how this orphanage is. He asked a kid passing by. Huh well it's good the funds are running low but everything else is good, people are kind and caring, said the boy. I see so what are you going to become when you grow up, he asked. Uh, a, a farmer, he answered. I see what do you want to become. A shinobi, he said. I see thanks kid, he said as he walked in, so they're low on funds quite expected really since they are not being funded by my mother at the moment the children are losing their childhood too soon the playground is not in good conditions. There's a lot to do huh? He asked himself. Hello madam are you the headmaster of this place? He asked the lady. Yes is something wrong? 
She asked. No I recently inherited this place and it seems to be low on funds is it? You're the new owner. Please treat us well. And yes we're having some funding troubles, she said. Well don't worry I'll make sure the children's dreams come true. There are some modifications some educational programs I'll be starting to help them achieve their dreams, said Naruto. Thank you, she said as her eyes grew teary. It's my pleasure, he said as he left. Later that day, Naruto was currently making some evening tea he had just signed two huge checks for the two orphanages and was now waiting for the modifications and programs to start, he had noticed that an Anbu was following him since he got out of the first orphanage and had not left since. You know you can come have some tea you know, he said to the Anbu as he received no answer. I haven't mixed anything you saw me making it, he said as an Anbu with a cat mask showed herself. You know I was not sure you would come down, but please sit, he said. Thanks but I'm not allowed to take my mask off, she said. Oh well, but then why come down, he asked. Your mother was the one who taught me everything I knew, she said. Oh, he said a little shocked at the sudden declaration. A bit of a shock eh. Think about the shock I got at the stadium, she was like a mother I never had and I couldn't look after her son she said sadly. Well that's in the past, come tell me some stories about her over some tea, Naruto said gesturing towards a chair. You know I still can't take my mask off, she said calmly. Oh well worth a shot, he said making Yugao smile. With clone Naruto. Hey guys heading out, he said to Fu and Yugura. Yeah we're in charge of freeing the prisoners from Orochimaru's prisons and try to add some to the new flares if we must, Yagura said. What really I want to come to, the clone said. No we're taking Senshi and we need you to guard the base, after we get back you'll be heading out to you know, Fu said. I'm heading out where, he asked. Secret, Fu said making the clone irritated. Well at least we have Mei-san and Raiga. They left for Kiri already. They finished their dealings with the Hokage and left for Kiri an hour ago, Yagura said. What? The clone shouted. How much are things going to change while I'm training, he thought. In an unknown location. Toby was mad he may be a good boy but even he had limits, the Zetsu here in front of him had not just one but two bits of bad news the loss of Aikibi and the worst news Orochimaru decided to hit the sack for good meaning there was no way to get the bijus back. Madara you're getting too serious, we don't need all the tailed bijus, said Pain. You stupid little idiot, you think I really see the world in your perspective, no I will shape this world the way I like in my infinite Tsukuyomi, but how I can't remake the ten tails without the nine bijus but it seems that the bijus are disappearing without a trace are they even useful without the nine. No even without the ten tails they hold vast powers I can use them on my side under my control thought Obito Tobi, Madara wannabe. Hum you're right but it's really something we must be concerned about pain, at the rate they're disappearing they'd be gone by the time you're able to take the bijus, he said. So should we capture them now? Pain asked. No capturing them will be a pain. Pain, I want you to convince them that we are the side they belong to against the world that put a monster inside their bellies, he said with a smirk. So we are abandoning the extraction plan. Oh no. You are taking it wrong I don't need the waste of spaces on my side, I want to keep an eye on them until you're ready to begin the extraction, Madara said.